Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyson Brown here and I've got another video for you all. So I've been trying to pump out as many videos as I can lately because I love helping you guys out. I love giving you steps that you can take immediately and I love hearing about the results because the more you guys are changing and the easier it is for you to change, the better results you're gonna get with your health and fitness. And that's why I do it, like just for you guys to be able to make really good changes and to be able to get those habits into place. So with that said, let's get into the video. The video today is all about habit stacking. Now, two weeks ago, I created a video for you guys talking about creating a habit and setting a goal for two weeks, right? So hopefully you guys took an action step and actually implemented a, implemented a goal. If you did, make sure to comment down below because I want to hear what it was. Was it drinking water? Was it eating a certain amount of times a day? Was it adding more vegetables? Was it going to the gym four times a week or five times? Whatever goal you set, make sure you comment down below and if you achieved it. Now, if you guys did take action and you did achievement, what I wanna do is talk about where to go next. So let's say you have got that habit into place. The next thing you wanna do is work on building on that habit, right? So if you've got a healthy habit in place, you're gonna be able to stack another habit on top of that in order for you to get better results for the next habit because these are gonna be slowly ingrained into your brain. So let's say if you're drinking two liters of water a day, that was your goal, in your next goal, set it something that can be in align with drinking water. So let's say, okay, you wanna to go to the gym four times a week. So how about you say, okay, this is how I'm gonna stack my habits. 500 milliliters of my water that I'm gonna to drink today will be drunken when I'm at the gym. That way you go, okay, well, I've gotta have another 500 mils today, so that means I've gotta to go to the gym. And it's kind of like stacking on top of it. So now you've got the water in place and you've got the gym. Or I'll give you another example. You say, I've got to drink 500 mils of water for, before every meal, before every healthy meal I have, or something along those lines, because the more you can get the two habits going together, the better it's going to be, because you've already got the first habit ingrained. When you implement the second habit, it's going to be an easier process. Maybe it's you have to wake up earlier to be able to go to the gym. So what you want to do is make sure the habit is easy too. So what you can do is the night before, set out all your gym clothes, get everything done, and that way, your first habit of waking up in the morning is you've gotta get out of bed, go straight to get dressed, and you can go straight to the gym. That's the first habit done. And you can have your first 500 mils of water while you're at the gym. That's two habits, that's easy. So once you can start stacking these habits together, it's gonna to be a lot more helpful for you guys to be able to achieve better results in health and fitness. Now. If you guys can't have it stack, like let's say you wanna try two different habits, like you wanna have, um, like me, eight servings of vegetables a day, and you wanna work out four times a week. Well, obviously they're two different habits, right? And let's say you've already got the workout in place, or you've already got one in place, and you need to get the other. Well, what you wanna focus on is that habit for two weeks now. Because this habit, whatever you've implemented, should already be natural now. Like going to the gym four times a week, is not going to have any effect on how you're eating, right? So, well, it should have a positive effect, was what I'm saying, but it's not going to stop you from eating healthy. So if you wanna now get eight to 10 servings of vegetables a day or whatever it is, how are you gonna put that into place? The easier you can make this habit, the better it's going to be. And once again, for two weeks, just focus on that habit. So that way, after a month, you've got two habits into place. You go into the gym four times a week or five times or three times or whatever you're doing and you're eating eight to 10 servings of vegetables a day. And that's just in a month. That, you've accomplished that in a month, which is awesome. And if you just think about it, if you, every two weeks, you implement a new habit around health and fitness, you're going to make so much progress in such a short amount of time and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna beat so many people. You're gonna beat the average person who tries to jump in wholeheartedly. You're gonna be ahead of all the people who struggle with trying to do healthy eating, healthy fitness, trying to you know sleep 10 hours, eight hours, and they try and do all these things at once, if you're just making slow incremental changes, you're gonna benefit so much better. So give the habit stack any go if you can. If you can't, focus on the new habit for two weeks and make sure it's aligned with whatever you first set. So you know, you've got the gym, you've got eating vegetables. So they're pretty aligned, like you're not gonna say, I wanna to go to the gym four times a week and I wanna be able to get like three ice creams in a week. Eh, it's kinda of like, no, not really. 
So if you can focus on creating lifelong habits and every two weeks set in a new habit and a new goal, it's only one and it's only for two weeks, it's gonna be so much more beneficial for you. So comment down below what your new habits gonna be and are you gonna have it stack or are you just gonna try and make sure they're in aligned with the same value to help you get towards your goals? Now remember, this is gonna be the fast track to fat loss if you implement these things. So do it now and see how you go. So that was the video guys, I'll see you all in the next one, thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for watching the video. I just want to share with you a couple of things really quickly. In the future, I'm going to release in a few things. I'm going to be releasing a few couple of ebooks for free. I'm going to be releasing some cheat sheets about weight training and nutrition. I'm going to be opening up my coaching program and a whole lot more. So if you want to have access to this stuff and to be in the know, make sure you click the link below to make sure you sign up to my newsletter. That way you're always going to be updated with the latest in health and fitness topics and you're going to know when I release new things, especially the free stuff. If you want free goodies, you want to get on this list. So click it down below, that's all you have to do and all the best to your health and fitness. Thanks guys.